Now, your Alaska Link weather for Anchorage and South Central. Good evening. As we've been working into this week, we have fallen under some quieter weather conditions, but we're ramping up that weather pattern today with those strengthening winds and still seeing those overnight. Now you're seeing the snow icon here. This isn't falling snow. This is actually a blowing snow concern here that we're watching as those winds are creating concern of even sustained winds of upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour. When I say sustained, that means even just a continuous wind. And then on top of that, seeing that at times those winds can have those powerful punches of wind gusts that are even getting upwards of 40 miles per hour that can cause damage that is creating very difficult travel, especially for high profile vehicles with a blowover risk, as well as causing for that blowing and drifting snowfall that creates reduced visibility and pushing in that cooler air out of the north. And this wind is staying intact overnight for the entire south central. We especially get those Masu winds there all the way down through Anchorage, Kenai even seeing some up to 40 mile per hour gusts and then those gap winds for areas like Seward and the Thompson Pass still seeing the potential of 50 to 80 mile per hour gusts. So we'll keep those winds overnight at their strongest. They will gradually ease starting for inland spots and then keep still some of those gap winds in place through Thursday before Friday. We should have much calmer winds in place, but those winds are sliding in out of the north. So that is going to continue to push in that cooling expected to be the coldest even by Sunday as we'll get another little renewed punch of some northerly winds. Not as strong as this setup but we'll watch that threat for maybe at least some isolated gap winds. And then we're keeping an eye on the extended forecast to bring back some snow. Now here for our Thursday again, blowing snow risk will be in place again, especially in the morning hours as those winds do continue to stay strong. They also do cause for that wind chill as well to drop well below zero and be a bit of a, a bite to the face at times to that exposed skin. So make sure to bundle up, especially if you have to travel as there will be some of those concerns. We'll see feel like temperatures through much of our Thursday stay into those single digits above and below zero. We are noting that a high pressure system though is overhead. It's that fight of some cold air that's moving in and some systems to our north and south that's pushing with that high pressure system causing for those strong winds at the surface. So with though that sunshine, we are holding on to six hours and 37 minutes, gaining almost about four and a half minutes per day or sunrise before 10 a.m. Sunset nearly 430. High temperatures across the south central will range from the teens for our inland spots to those 20s across our coastal locations into Friday. We'll continue to see a cooling trend in place. Not going to see an abrupt drop in those temperatures, but continuous cooling that is going to fall through that uh, Sunday forecast where we will have some below zero lows and some single digit highs all paired up with some sunshine with that high pressure system in control. But we will watch temperatures climb up just a bit as we will be renewed to a active weather pattern with snow chances for the early portion of next work week.